everybody, it's just me, Jesse, here, and I am starving, so I'm gonna try and make this short. So, yeah, uh, today it's been uh, pretty fun. I've been working on my econ project all day, and I finally finished it. Woohoo! And, uh, yeah, so, anyways, without further ado, on the song. Alright, this song is called The Monkey Song. It is a duet with Bob and Larry from, Vegeta from VeggieTales, and uh, I'm not sure what episode it was that this was on. Uh, I think it might have been The Wizard of Oz. Uh, the Wizard of Oz, um, uh, like, episode or whatever they had on there. Um, but, yeah, so, I hope you enjoy it. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's a name. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Let's see if we can catch it on the tape. Cause if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey, it's a name. Look there, there it goes, there it goes, I don't know, I can't tell if it's a monkey or a name. Look, Bob, it's very simple. If it doesn't have a tail, it's a not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey, it's a name. Uh, Larry, I'm not so sure. Ooga ooga, isn't that a monkey? Ooga ooga, isn't it an ape? If it's a nickel or a salad, it's a, or a pillow. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey, it's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Are you sure that's what you really want to say? Camera, uh, camera has a, uh, camera has no tail. It's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey, it's an ape. Uh, I think there's something wrong with your logic, Larry. Well, Bob, and, uh, well, uh, Bob, the lady at the zoo said, it, uh, said it. And who am I to tell her that she's wrong? If there's a tail, it's a, it's a monkey. No tail, it's a ape. It's easy. But, <laughs> but, Larry, a kite has a tail, it's a monkey. A comet has a tail, and it's an ape. Oh, it's a monkey. A bubble doesn't, a bubble doesn't, then it's not a monkey. If it's a it have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Exactly, I knew you'd catch on. Larry, we might need to talk about this. I don't think a lady at the zoo man. Look there, there it goes, and the trees follow me. I, I, yeah, I've got it. It's gotta be a monkey or an ape. I can't believe it's true. And all this time I've been searching for you. Snap the picture, take the shot. We're among the lucky few. We find. Finally did it, photographer, we've discovered what we've been after. Let's me let me look, is it an ape? Larry, this is a disaster. It's a monkey. Larry, that's a cow. That was exhilarating. Let's find more. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey cat shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. All right, well, uh, you folks heard it. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it does have a tail, it's a monkey. But if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Okay, this is not true. I just want to let you know that. Because a stapler does not have a tail. And it's not a monkey. And it's not an ape. It's a stapler. All right, so this song has no meaning. <laughs> oh man! All right, on to the verse. So today I'm going to read to you the the uh, story of the Good Samaritan. Uh, well, the parable of the Good Samaritan. This is uh, this is in. Uh, it's going to be right here, Luke chapter ten, verses fifteen through uh, through seventeen. So it's about thirteen verses. Um, so it says, on one occasion, on, on, on one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to Jesus, uh, stood up to test Jesus, uh, teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus, uh, Jesus said, what is written in the law? He replied, how do you, how do you read it? Uh, he answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. 
you have you have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. And so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Who is your neighbor? So and that that's basically what so that's what he's asking. So then in reply, Jesus Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem in uh to Jericho. Uh when he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him, uh, leaving him half dead. The priest, the priest ha happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the on the other side. So, uh, so too a, Le a Levite. I think that's was it says. Um, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, he, uh, but a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. Uh, he went to him and uh, he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took he took out two denar denarii and gave them to the the innkeeper. Look after him, he he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for an extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. So basically what it's saying is, uh, was there were two, two men who were highly respected that just walked by and just didn't, didn't care, like, two craps about the guy that just got beat up right in front of them. They just passed on the other side of the road. Uh, so what's basically saying is like, be a good neighbor, like a state, like, like state farm, you know, like a good neighbor, state farm is that. <laughs> there is no, it's like being, being nice to people. Like I said the other day, like, it's like God, God loves it when you're nice to people. He, um, and you, uh, have mercy on them. So yeah, I hope you got something from that. I hope you, uh, I hope you do a good deed for, for a neighbor of yours. Uh, it doesn't have to be your next door neighbor. It could be somebody that just lives in the same town or just anybody on earth. Hope you, hope you uh, enjoyed today's video. I'm going to go get something to eat. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a full belly, and stay awesome. I hope you have a great day. Please don't go insane. Good.